Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in 2 Kings chapter 8 verse 12 as well as 2 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 3. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Father God for this word Lord Jesus. Help us to do as you say. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, so 2 Kings chapter 8, verse 12, and Hazel said, why does my Lord weep? He answered, because I know the evil that you will do to the people of Israel. You will set on fire their fortresses and you will kill their young men with the sword and dash in pieces their little ones and rip open their pregnant women. Wow. So that is a word that Elisha delivered to Hazel because Hazel was coming on behalf of the king of Aram. Um, his name was Ben-Hadad and he was sick. And so he wanted to ask Elisha when he found out that he was near um whether he was going to die or not. So he sent this humongous gift. I, I want to say it said like 40 camels of stuff, gifts and things to Elisha um, and to ask and inquire of God um, about his circumstance. And so um, Hazel did it just because he was his servant. And um, it was... Uh, Elisha's job to give the prophecy that um, Hazel was evil, right? That that he was going to do such horrible things to the children of Israel, and you know it seemed unlikely. But when you when Elisha received um, this word from the Lord, he had to deliver it, right? He had to go ahead and tell it like it was right this man brought 40 camels with all these gifts from his king um and he had to tell him to his face that this was the the future right for the children of Israel and that it would be by his hand right and so um when he actually asked him about his the king Ben Ben had had um he uh told him that the king would live right and he he but the way he put it if you read it he says the king will live um and yes the king will die so um and he stared at him right he stared at him so long it made um him uncomfortable and then he he proceeded to burst into tears elijah did and elisha did and so he asked him, you know, why, why would, why was he crying? That's why he starts out. Why does my Lord weep? It says, and Hazel said, why does my Lord weep? He answered, because I know the evil that you will do to the people of Israel. You will set on fire their fortresses. And, and it's just so horrible. It says, you will set on fire their horse for, fortresses. And you will kill their young men with the sword and dash in pieces their little ones and rip open their pregnant women. And he could not see himself doing this, right? And yet he prophesied it anyway. And and um he he um Hazel um went on back to the king. Uh, the king asked him, what did the man of God say? Right. And he said, you're going to live. Right. And he proceeded to turn around and kill the king. Right. He took a, I want to say it's as a bed sheet and wet it and put it over his face and killed him. So the prophecy was spot on as far as the evilness that was in his heart. And it was by the, the prophecy came to pass. And, and uh, this is conflated today with second Chronicles chapter four, verse three, under it were figures of gourds for 10 cubits encompassing the sea all around the gourds were in two rows cast with it when it was cast 
And so this is the um the water basin, the brazen sea, I want to say it's called um uh, in the temple. And this huge water basin had the they call them gourds, but they're oxen. We call them ox. And so they had these 12 oxen all around, right? And each one of them um were symbolic of the 12 children the 12 tribes of Israel and so the the Levites would use this um this huge basin of water with these oxen underneath it to clean their hands and their feet right and so so that they could serve it in the temple they would already be clean but then when they would come in they would cleanse their hands and their feet for service right and so the thing the Holy Spirit was telling me about this conflation is that, you know, it was about cleaning your hands, right? Doing the work of the Lord. Sometimes it's not nice, right? Sometimes it's scary. Sometimes it's embarrassing. Sometimes it's uncomfortable, right? He stared at him for so long until it made him uncomfortable. And then he burst into tears. Why? Because he has such a heavy burden for the people, but he, and he had a heavy burden for the Lord. And he had to deliver this horrible message to this man, this evil man who did not even know that he was evil. Right. He I'm sure he probably knew he was evil, but I'm sure he didn't know that he was capable of these things. Right. And yet he turns around and becomes exactly and, and is exactly what the prophecy said. Right. But when you're doing the work of the Lord, when the Lord gives you a message, you got to wash your hands. When the Lord gives you a word, you got to wash your hands. When the Lord is telling you to go to this place or go to that place, you got to wash your hands of that thing. You have to go and do the will of the Father. There's a place for washing and it comes when you do what he said to do, right? Your hands can be clean. Your feet can be clean, right? You can, even if it's not received, even if the people look at you crazy, you can clap the dust off your feet and you can wash your feet later, right? Because you need to be clean of that thing. You need to, to allow the word of the Lord to convict you um, to the point where you make sure you do what he says to do. Amen. All right, you guys, uh, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word, Lord God. We know that it's not easy sometimes serving, but we know that we can do all things through you who gives us strength. Lord Jesus, help us to walk that out. Help us to live that. Help us to know what to do and how to do it when the hour comes. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.